take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Survival and complications today. Fewer than 5 of every 100 people with botulism die. Even with antitoxin and intensive medical and nursing care, some people with botulism die from respiratory failure. Others die from infections or other problems caused by being paralyzed for weeks or months. Let's help you make your mark. Respiratory failure generally causes death in untreated individuals. Symptoms generally begin 12 to 36 hours after consuming the toxin in food but in rare cases symptoms can occur as early as 6 hours or as late as 2 weeks after exposure. Let's help you make your mark. Botulinum antitoxin is available and may be used to prevent the worsening of symptoms, though it will not reverse existing nerve damage. In severe cases, mechanical respiration may be used to support patients suffering from respiratory failure. The nerve damage heals over time, generally over weeks to months. Make your mark, take our lead. The spores that cause botulism will not germinate in a strongly acid environment. Low acid foods can be made safe for water bath canning if they are pickled, that is, made much more acidic, with the addition of strongly acid things like vinegar, lemon juice, citric acid or, in the case of fermentation, lactic acid. Take our lead. The botulism spores can only be killed by the high heat which can be obtained in a pressure canner. The toxin, that is produced in anaerobic conditions, can only be destroyed by boiling, WHO. So technically, honey is not safe for infants even in cooked form such as in baked foods like breads. Make your mark, take our lead. The source of foodborne botulism is often home canned foods that are low in acid, such as fruits, vegetables and fish. However, the disease has also occurred from spicy peppers, chilies, foil-wrapped baked potatoes and oil infused with garlic. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.